what you mean by the death of engineering. <laughs> yeah, you asked for a topic. This is something which has been bubbling around in my sort of idle space. It's related to ChatGPT, that, that's in the mix, but we need to understand like what are the effects. What we're seeing is we don't really need those junior engineers to do some of those tasks. They're the ones getting replaced first. And this is where you start saying, but so now my organization is largely just made up of middle to senior. And this is where it's getting eaten, like this cancer from the bottom up. As the AI capabilities are improving, the mundane tasks that needed somebody still to stitch them together, it's it's slowly getting better at those things. The expansion, you know, we're going to be looking at the Middle East. There's some options here where we're going to be coming into um, probably in the new year. And I think the focus now is not so much about expansion, but about consolidation and improving market share. And this is a big, a big one for us. We need to improve our product. We need to improve retention and make sure that we, um, we keep the customers that we've got really happy. Choice for me is freedom. And I think this is the difference. In the classic Uber marketplace, they're just saying, there's a driver, there's Ricky, get him there to the hotel. Mm -hmm. And you've got no choice. Whereas now, you can look at this and say, you know what, man, I, I've got a plane to catch. I'm going with the Mercedes because he's right next door. Obviously I well. think the toughest thing for CEOs is to hire a CTO. Um, as a CEO, you're in a completely different world. So you don't have the skills to actually value evaluate a CTO. And I think in your position in recruitment, you understand this a lot. CEOs don't know how to hire CTOs. Like, how do you measure? How do you ask the guy? Because... We can walk circles around you in a tech discussion. When you hire your CTO um, or your CPO, make sure that you, you're getting him from a trusted source, a recruiter that understands the industry, that knows how to separate the wheat from the chaff. Like people have got a proven track record. Look at references, look at track record, look at where they've come from, what's their background. I think that's, that's really the key.